Hello. I'm a box turtle. It's me, Gabby, again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the newest Premier Club horses from Briar, uh, Rihanna Cadell. Let's just get into it. I'm so excited to see them and the little extras that I got along with them. I'm going to open this. Ah, it's a paper snake! It's an anaconda! It's a python! Ah! Ah! It's so long and fat that it ate all the packing peanuts. Mm. Oh jeez. Okay, I can't. I'm guessing this is them. And... Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. It's... Oh my gosh. Okay. And here is the extras that I got. Ow! I'm actually going to open the extras first. I hope you can't see what it is. Okay, good. <laughs> Um, because I want to save the best for last, and not like these aren't going to be good, they will be. Ah! It's a snake baby! So this is what I got. It's the fourth set of Unicorn Paint and Play, I think that's what they're called. <laughs> or the Paint and Play fourth set, I, I don't know. Um, but this is a Magnolia mold one, and it's just blank has some paint. I'm going to take them all out and then just open them to show you what it looks like on the other side. But this is the Magnolia. Then there is an adorable Alvarozo. And all the ones other than the Magnolia are going to lose their horns. Sorry, not sorry. Ooh, okay, so these two are the new mold ones. So here's this standing one. I'm not really sure what they're calling it, to be honest. But I have so many ideas. Or rather, one awesome idea for this horse. So, yeah, I don't really want to see his other side, too. And, last but surely not least, this guy, which I think they're using for a Stablemate Club model later this year. Oh my gosh, how cute. It looks like a tiny Carrick. I noticed that. It looks like a tiny Carrick. Being, uh, Carrick is on, or rather, Carrick is the original Carrick. Cortez C, Justify, and Brass Hat, like that mold. It's so cute. I opened them all off camera because honestly it took too long. <laughs> so, each of them comes with this little paint, tiny paint bucket things. Black, kind of like a hot pink almost, like a little bit lighter than that. And a cute purple, I really don't know the shade. <laughs> but... I'm surprised they wouldn't include some more colors. I think these are metallic colors, which at least something, but I'm just kind of surprised that they wouldn't maybe do different variations, like some with blue, yellow, and silver or something, and then some with this variation, and honestly other variations, but whatever. And then also each one had a small paintbrush, and these are pretty decent for being like some random off-brand brushes. <laughs> you know what, guys, uh, the more I look at this, the more I think it's actually metallic gray or silver. So, that's even better. But still, this should still have different variations. <laughs> so, here is the adorable Blank Magnolia. And she does have a bent horn. And honestly, I think it's adorable, and that's why she's going to stay with her horn on. Because I don't have a bent horn Magnolia painted one yet. And here is the adorable Blank Alborozo. Oh my gosh. I love this mold so much in traditional form and in stablemate form. And he's going to lose his horn, so he's going to look much nicer. I'm saving the standing one for last, because that one's my favorite. But look at Tiny Carrick. <laughs> I don't really know if that's really what it is, but still. He is so cute, and I can't wait for the painted version, because he's an adorable, like, glossy Bay Sabino. And I can't wait. He's also going to lose his horn, this one. And this guy is the cutest. I think he's probably my new favorite Sablemate mold. I don't know, he's just so cute. And his proportions are very good. I'm not sure what breed he's supposed to be. But he is so 
cute. And like I said, I have plans for this dude. He's going to be so cute. He's going to lose his horn. And he's going to be a mini version of someone in my herd. So I'll leave you guys to guess in the comments on which pony he's going to be the mini version of. Now finally, the Premier Club Marinful. I cannot wait for these guys. I'm not sure how they're packaged. So far, it's a box inside a box. At least this. So, let's see. Oh! Inside a box! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so they're a box inside a box inside a box. Okay, I'm probably going to keep their box, honestly. It's adorable. I've seen it on photos. Look how cute. <laughs> Mango came to join us, and I'm going to just read about them really quick. The Premier Collection opens with a double dose. <laughs> the Premier Collection opens with a double dose of equine artistry in 2019. We're excited to introduce to you artist Jazine Fingerling's first traditional scale sculptures for Briar, Ran, and Cadal, uh, Welsh Mountain, Welsh, oh, Welsh Mountain Pony Murrinfall. I said Welsh probably again. <laughs> And by the way, I think the first sculpt that she did for Briar was uh, for the Stablemate Club. I think it was Django. That cute little Django. Pretty sure it was. The Welsh... Welsh? Mountain Pony, or Section A Welsh Pony. Welsh. Originally called the Mountains of Wales home. Much like their ancestors, today's Welsh... Welsh... <laughs> ponies have stamina and versatility in spades. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. While di 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 Dimin diminutive in stature, the Welsh ponies' combination of refinement and strength lends to them being exceptional riding and driving ponies. Ren Rien and Cadell's prototypes were also painted by Jazine. Wow, nice. Mare Rien has a soft apple gray coat with a minimal Sabino pattern. By the way, never knew that until she just came out. Um, and her full Cadell is a sooty buckskin. <laughs> Both have a chalky white base coat. When paired together, the Mare's soft coloring beautifully accents her Colt's coat. Aww. When sculpting a set, the artist must keep the interaction between the pieces in mind. Of this pair, Jazine says, the upwards position of the foal and the turned neck of the mare connect the two sculptures. <laughs> it's fun to think that the owner of the set chooses a composition when the models are displayed and therefore has influence over my artwork. Oh. Training classical dressage, Jazine's background as a writer aids her artwork in more than just understanding of movement and anatomy. She says, when riding, I focus on giving the horse back his freedom of movement under the saddle, not to hinder him with my seat and aids. So it's the emotional bird, I mean Bon, <laughs> the emotional bird, <laughs> between horse and rider enormously. They move as one. I try to capture that feeling in my sculptures. Very well said, and look how cute they are. So on the top, that's Jazine and her horse, and I think it has his name there. Apollo, oh my god, how cute. And then that's the sketch, which I do have a framed version of a copy of the sketch, that they all sent, I think Briar sent to everyone who joined the Premier Club, and then that's uh, when they were blank and being sculpted. <laughs> Let's get them open, I'm so excited. I swear, if they're in another box after this box, I might scream. <laughs> okay, moment of truth, let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, this bubble wrap. Uh, a bag, oh my god. Okay, so, so far, they have been in a box, inside a box, inside a box? Inside a box? No, inside a bag, okay. Oh my god. This is the bag, and should have COA. Oh, here it is. Here's their uh, so, 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 Here's their COA. Okay, wait. I'm gonna probably keep their box somehow because it is the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Let me just put it aside. Uh, I'm gonna look at this after. I'm too excited right now. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. <gasps> is that a bag? I don't. I'm not. I'm not really enjoying. This is how they package from your club horses. I don't know. I would suggest probably something other than a bag. But let's see here. So now we know it's a cult. You see, I, I never really kind of registered that. Vin date December 18. Okay, so. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, his eyes. I hope his mom has such beautiful eyes. Okay. Let's try to get a close-up. I am dying right now. I am dying. <laughs> I, can't, I can't handle the cuteness of this horse. Okay, so he is the Section A Welsh Mountain Pony Colt. And I think they're simply calling his mold name Cadell, honestly. And the only other release there is on that mold 
is, I think, the raffle models, and there's only like seven made of the set, and I think it's Valor and Honor. There's no chance on earth I'm ever going to get them. They'd probably be worth like $3,000, so that's never going to happen. But I'm getting every other release on this mold. Like, I know for sure I am going to conga this mold. And, of course, the mirror as well. OMG. So, you can totally tell that he is a chalky. His whites are very white, and his face does not have any kind of edging, like, if you know what I mean. Like, there's no edge to it. And what a beautiful color and texture, by the way. Look at how cute. Can you see his eye? It's such a beautiful brown eye. Oh my gosh. And let me try to show his other eye really quick. Eh, I don't know if it's working. Oh my gosh. And his facial marking is the sweetest. Let's get the mare out. I can already see her and she's so cute. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I forgot to say, by the way, Cadell is flawless. Let's hope that the mom is too. Come on, Ryan. What, what? 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 Which way do I open you? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh! They're my first premier club horses, and my first year being in the club. And oh my gosh. Okay, so she does have only one thing. And it's like a tiny smudge on her little patch. I do not care at all. Like, honestly, that is so minor. And just... Ah! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> She's so cute! Oh my gosh! Okay. I... I'm officially blown away by the sculpture and the color and everything. You're too cute! How cute. She also has beautiful eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta show you guys too, because I'm just like admiring her for myself. You can probably see her dapples. It's incredible, honestly. Her dapples are the best dapples I've ever seen on a briar. Like, I've seen good dapples on Peterstones before, but not on briars. Like, not this good. It's so pretty. And you see her patch? She has like a tiny smudge there somewhere here. I do not care, like I just said. I really don't mind. And you can probably see her face. And maybe her eye. Uh, I don't know. It's really hard to to see. Probably have to get closer. But look at her beautiful marking. And she does have a chin spot. And she is so cute. And then this side of her head, or rather her neck, has beautiful mane right here and it's kind of has like streaks of different color oh my gosh and then her ears also have the realistic kind of looks like the wheat if you know what I mean like the inside of the ears always look like wheat <laughs> and then her feet oh my gosh so her beautiful little socks and her beautiful hooves and really nice flea bits too they're actually brown for a change and not black like snowman's and her tail is something else. I do think that it would be cool if they did different tail and mane variations one day. On just the mirror, probably not the full because it's too hard. But it would be cool if she had like a braided tail at some point. Switched over this leg and like some kind of cool braided mane would be really, really nice. So I do hope they do that one day. Now I'm sure of it. You can't have one without the other because they just look way too cute together. And I don't have a hand to put behind him so you can see better. And <gasps> oh my god! He has a little marking, like a like a chin spot like her, but it goes all the way under his head. At least mine does. Like, I don't know if anybody else's does. I'll have to ask my friends. But aren't they the cutest pair ever? Like, I'm not sure if a Sooty Buckskin could come out of a Flea Bitten horse. But, again, the babies are never born Flea Bitten anyway, or white. So, I think that's fine. So that's how they're supposed to look together, like, on this side. They are too cute. I'm going to try to bring them a little bit closer. I wonder if that will work. They're beautifully shaded, by the way. Like, look at Cadell's beautiful shading. He is the cutest thing. And then, also, Mom has some pretty sunny shading, too. It is my first year in the Premier Club, and I am so glad that I joined because I was going to get these guys, like, secondhand or something, but people are selling them for $200 more than they should be. Uh, 
And of course, I don't want to pay that much. It's actually cheaper to be in the club, even for you know paying the membership and stuff. And also, I heard that there's a Rhenish Cobb, and it's a cold-blooded draft horse, and it's coming out, I think it's either the third release or the second release in the Premier Club, and I'm not absolutely sure who's sculpting it, but I really want another draft horse, so that's good. And honestly, it was so worth joining the club for these guys and for the ones to come. I cannot wait to see the sneak peeks of the new one. That's coming out pretty soon, well not soon, probably another three months. <laughs> These guys are the cutest thing, and like, Briar did an awesome job on them, like, seriously awesome job. And of course, Jazine did a wonderful job as well. Her color plan is like, awesome, honestly. And when you pay close attention to the original resin version, she actually does have a little patch, but I just never notice it. For reference, by the way, the mare is about the size of Bouncer mold, so like Brookside Pink Magnum kind of size, which is funny because he was my first ever traditional horse, and now these guys are my latest traditional horses. <laughs> and I think it's just kind of cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. By the way, you can leave name suggestions for Rihanna Cadell. I'm probably going to keep their names, honestly. But... I'm going to need names for the Congas because I'm going to get every mirror full on this mold that they release other than the raffle models and one of a kinds. But anyway, you can leave name suggestions. Bye, guys!